All right. Hi, everyone. John here with Web Dev for You, here to help you build awesome websites without code in Webflow. Uh, today is part six of the Casually Building in Webflow series, where, we're, where we are building this workspace template. Uh, if you have just stumbled across this video and are new to Webflow, you can click on the link in the description area below uh, to get started with Webflow and then follow along with this tutorial. Um, you can open a free account and start with two free projects in Webflow. All right, with that said, uh, let me bring up the timer. All right, so I have the timer here. So today we're gonna build out this um, facilities uh, section. We're gonna add this text here on the left and these um, elements here on the right. Um, so actually I just realized, let me export these images or I, I'll do that during the uh, tutorial. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and get started. So let's hit the play button and we'll do 10 minutes and let's go into the navigator and let's add a section and we'll call this facilities section. Uh, in here we'll add a div and this will be the container uh, to the facility section. Let's set the padding to 10 VW to the left and 10 VW to the right. I'm just gonna add a lot of padding to the bottom so that we can uh, scroll initially. So there we have it. All right, so we have the section and the container that we added, gave it the class container um, there. So now let's add another div and we'll call this facility, that's facilities wrapper. Okay. And for this, we're going to add two divs, one on the left and one on the right. So we'll add a div. We'll call this facilities left. And for the facilities wrapper, let's set it to flex, align stretch, justify left. And we'll say grow if possible for facilities left. I'll copy and paste. I'll duplicate this class and I'll just call this facilities uh, dash right. Okay, so we have the left uh, part and let's go ahead and add a few elements. So we'll add a, um, let's go back in here. Yep, we'll add a heading. We'll make it an H3 and we provide complete facilities. That'll be the title facili facilities. Okay, so we have the heading and we'll call this facilities heading. And we'll add a paragraph and we'll just copy this content here and just paste. And then we'll add a button and we'll give it we'll give it the class hero button initially and we'll just duplicate it and call this facil facilities button and we'll say get started okay no capital s all right so let's look at the spacing 16 and 40, say facilities paragraph, and we'll say 40 from the bottom. Cool, so that looks good. Now let's work on this section here. Um, so on the right, we'll add a div. We'll call this facilities item wrapper. Facilities, yep. Yeah. And yeah, so for this, we're gonna have a div on the left and a div on the right. Um, so we'll say, um, yeah, facilities item left. And this will be the image. So let me go ahead and export these SVG icons. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and just export these. I'll do the first one so you can see me export it. And uh, let's see. 
let's see here in Figma. Need to drag this out a little bit. There we go. So vector group group. Okay, there it is. Uh, so it's this whole group and or is it the frame? I have to go to um, the inspect. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a sec and then uh, just export these SVGs. Okay, yeah, I think they might have changed something in Figma, but yeah, we go to export and I'll just export as SVG. So I selected the um, the group and we'll say, and yeah, this is the preview for the SVG icon and I'll click export. So yeah, now I'll pause and do it for the other icons. All right, so I've exported the icons. Um, yeah, let me add a few more minutes to this actually. All right, I just added a, like another minute or so because of uh, working on the exporting here. Um, so yeah, let's go back into Webflow and let's add these elements. So for the left, so we have facilities item wrapper. So facilities item left. Um, and let's look at the size of this ellipse. It's 52 by 52. So for the facilities item left, let's make it uh, 52 by 52. And we'll set the border radius to 50%. And then the background color is this color here with an opacity of 10. Perfect. Nice to copy the opacity as well. Um, then for the background, let me add those icons. And the first one is the air conditioner. Choose image, we'll say air conditioner. We'll say uh, contain. We don't need it to be tiled. Or just, yeah, we'll leave it at custom so it fits perfectly in there. Um, great. So now we'll add another div in here and we'll say facilities item right and for the facilities item wrapper let's set it to flex horizontal and for this item right or yeah horizontal align center and justify start and for the item right let's just say grow if possible and in here we'll add a text block and Let's see, 24, uh, 16 and 24. So we'll say facili facilities item title. So size 16, 24, medium, and looks a little bit darker. So we'll copy this color here, paste it in there. And we'll just go ahead and add that to the global swatches. All right, so this one's air conditioner. And then uh, for facilities item left, let's, or item right, let's add a paragraph. And I'll just copy this text in here and paste. All right, cool. So let's look at the spacing. So eight pixels here. and 16 for this one. And it is aligned to the top here. So let's go ahead and align the facilities item wrapper to the top. And that looks good. And then we'll just add some padding to the entire thing. So we're gonna add some padding, hold down shift. And we'll add padding of 24 and okay I see so the, the color of these sections is not completely white okay I see um, and does this have a corner radius it does not okay so let's go into the section and give it the background color of this here all right cool so I'm going to go ahead and let's see facilities 
item wrapper. Let's copy and paste that four times. And the spacing is 16. So we'll add 16 pixels of margin to the bottom. And let's add some, some padding of like 100 to the top here of the section. OK, cool. Um, and for the item wrapper, let's set the background color to uh, to white. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So we have uh, air conditioner, bedrooms, uh, minimalist sofa, and bathrooms. Minimalist sofa and bathrooms. All right. So for facilities item left, let's give this a combo class of two, and I'll just replace the icon with the bedroom. We'll give this a combo class of three. And I'll replace this icon with the sofa. And this will give a combo class of four. And I'll replace this icon with the bath bathtub there. All right, cool. So that looks good. I'm going to remove some padding here from the workspace section. I think that looks good. And yeah, remove some padding from the bottom here. We'll say 100. And we want to, for this, maybe we'll, for the facilities left, let's set it to flex, vertical, aligned, left, and justify center. Okay, and I might, I might add some margin here of 100 pixels to kind of separate them a little bit. And for the heading, I'm going to do a max width of 20CH. Let me try a little bit less. Yeah, maybe something like that. Uh, that's not too bad. No, actually, I'd rather align it to the top and just give some padding of maybe 100. Yeah, there we go. Or maybe uh, 60. That looks pretty good. Maybe 40. All right, cool. And I think we, we can maybe add a shadow to this. Um, it might have a shadow. Let's let's try that real quick. Add a little bit of a light shadow, box shadow. We'll make it this color. And let's blur it. Just bring the size down a little bit. Let's try a lot of blur. down the opacity to 10, maybe the blur to 60. That's not too bad. Distance, negative 5, or 0, OK. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Just added a little bit of uh, shadow to that to give it some, some depth. Um, all right, let me just make sure that's the color I want to use. You know, I'll use this, this uh, here. All right, cool. So yeah, that's it for today's uh, video. Again, yeah, I did go a little bit over 10 minutes. Uh, but tomorrow we'll build out this testimonial section and then the footer and then we'll go into uh, responsive design uh, here on the right. All right. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Again, you can sign up for Webflow in the description area below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.